Hello there, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the perfume experience. My name is Rodney. So today I am going to do a first impressions of a you know, very uh, new fragrance. I'm very happy about it as well because I think it's created a quite a buzz in the fragrance community, especially in the alt hour segment. Uh, typically, if you are somebody who's been on Facebook and all of that, you know that this house is made quite a, a good hype and they've received a lot of good reviews for their quality and I was also waiting for my set of, uh, you know, um, uh, samples. So I'm talking about a very new house called as Centrix, okay? So this is from two frag heads of the fragrance community called Shantanu Gupta and Dikshitwara. So they've kind of created, a, you know, a fragrance house which is going to talk to you or which is going to uh, give you alternates for a lot of the niche houses and other uh, fragrances as well. So, uh, you know, a few days back, they have, uh, you know, they had given out basically a sample set and I was one of the first few people to kind of order the sample set, but I definitely think I was one of the last people to get it in my hands. So I got six fragrances from this house and I will very quickly dive into how they kind of, you know, smell in the opening and uh, if there was something that was very interesting in terms to observe, I will talk about that. But I will not do a comparison or breakdown of notes to tell you that, you know, this is the note profile and all of that. I might not do that at this point of time. So let me quickly go through each of the six fragrances that I have. Okay. So the first one that I, uh, you know, ordered was uh, Ganymede from the house of uh, MAB. And now this, uh, you know, when I kind of smelled initially, I kind of recognized this smells really, really good. Now, uh, this, uh, I would say that it's very, very close in terms of the, how the OG is. I think the OG is a slightly little more punchier is what I would say. I did one particular spray and this is really good. Okay, so Ganymede definitely, you know, uh, one good reason why I got it also is to compare it with the others and also the OG to check. But on the whole, first impressions, I can tell you it's pretty, pretty good in terms of how they have executed. And I, they were actually saying that, you know, they would, uh, it's better than the OG. Uh, a little too early to tell that, but let's see how it goes. In my full testing, I will compare that and let you know, right? The second one that I kind of really liked was uh, MFK's uh, Absolute Pour Le Soya. Okay, now this particular fragrance, I tried this today. This is fab. If you've been wanting a fragrance that is, uh, you know, uh, very loud, very strong, people should notice, people should observe, you should get this. This is a fragrance that opens up with a little bit of that ambery, incensey note, and then it goes into a little bit of that, uh, uh, you know, like a little bit of that pan uh, kind of a vibe, but it's a very nice fragrance, and then it moves into a little bit of a powdery note. So, yes, if you're looking for alternates or uh, how, uh, fragrances, that transition notes, yes, you are in the right place because these ones do transition. So, you know, MFK's uh, Absolute uh, Pearless Sawyer definitely does that and it punches a pack in its opening. Very, very strong scent. If you like a nice, um, you know, bold, ambery kind of scent, definitely consider this. This is very, very good, right? Next one, let me talk to you about uh, BDK's Gris Charnel. Okay. Now, this was the first one that I tried after I got this set. Okay, the first one that I opened up to try. And the reason I did that is because I already have uh, another sample from another house. Okay, clearly there is a difference. This is far, far better than the other one that I tried because the opening is so very different. That uh, alcohol blast that generally people get, uh, you know, that is not there. That airiness that you would want, you know, the lightness that you want, like the OG, that is there. The transition of note breakdown from how it opens up and then it becomes powdery, that is there. Those elements are fantastic and compared to the other fragrance, this was way, way better smelling in that way. Okay. Now, of course, lasting, I was not getting that much of a lasting on this one, but I'm sure if I let it rest for some time and then do a full wearing, I should get better transition. In, I would go on to say this, that in case you have not tried Gris Charnel as a fragrance, you are missing out on something wonderful. This is a simplistic, beautiful, vanilla, soapy kind of a fragrance that is so classy, so very well done. You should definitely try this. This is a must try uh, from any house, but you should definitely try this fragrance, okay? But I would suggest you to get this one. It's pretty, pretty good. The next one that I uh, tried um, was Clive Christian, okay? So now Clive Christian, I've already tried this particular fragrance uh, before also once and I've kind of, you know, know the scent profile of this one. So I wanted to try and see, but this I will come back to you right now. It, it is not probably my most favorite uh, fragrance of all, but this will definitely be there. Okay. Another wow fragrance that I really enjoyed was YSL's Baby Cat. Okay. Now this is a very nice fragrance, which is a very ambery, uh, you know, there's a little bit of uh, spice elements and a little bit of woody elements, vanilla. Beautiful fragrance and the way it opens up is so very nice. It's very romantic as a fragrance. And again, there's a good amount of transition in terms of notes that happen on Baby, uh, baby Cat. Very beautifully done fragrance. Very nice. 
but i think uh, the best probably probably if not mf case uh, for less oil this i think is definitely my favorite which is amwards opus 12 rose incense oh my god lovely fragrance this opened up like for me like a rose ambery type of a fragrance um uh, one of those um, you know uh, fragrances that has got a very nice ambery element and a good rosy vibe and then after a few minutes this particular fragrance transitioned into a very uh, palm type of a feeling okay that typical middle eastern fragrance which have got that incensey note you know that um, imagine you are eating uh, you know a pan and if you eat the pan there is that uh, pan pasand type of a vibe that you get which is there in roja uae for example as a fragrance or uh, uh, even um, uh, your um, uh, uh, ausavaj will give you that note feeling after some time that is the note profile that this particular fragrance goes for and this even also is a very good performer complete change of you know uh, note fragrance note breakdown change in scent profile on the whole very light very clean very airy another good thing that i want to talk to you about the mfk one is you will feel that you are literally wearing the og okay that is something that i can tell you that the quality is definitely there the uh, you know performance is something that we will definitely watch out for but the quality right at the top is really done very well and i think at the price point in which they are entering the segment which is about the 1300 1400 1600 mark for the 50 ml i think it's a pretty sweet spot considering their bottles are looking good and the artwork also is looking good I, although i have not had any 50 ml with me right now uh, i will probably get one of uh, mine very soon but i'm contemplating if i should get three of 30 ml or not because i kind of like some of them very very much like the rose incense and the mfk is something and the gris charnel is something really really good right so at that price point if you consider the 1400 to 1600 rupees for a 50 ml i think if you're going for niche fragrances this is superb i have also heard that there is very good reviews about kilian's uh, blue ginger which i have ordered which i have ordered for 50 ml so i think from a quality point of view a few definitely good fragrances that you can definitely try no alcohol blast transitions in notes which is a lot of people look for when they get you know uh, you know when they get the og for a primary reason is because the notes transition right and a lot of people don't go for clones because most of the time they get a very linear fragrance now i'm very happy to say that that is not the case here so you do get a very good transition in notes so that is something that they have nailed the key element would be consistency right so this is a launch i can definitely understand that they are overly cautious about everything in terms of their uh, a bottles the presentation and all of that they have done very very well and kudos to that for shantanu gupta and dakshit adikshit vara for doing that part very diligently and i think the key element would like i said would be to keep up the consistency in keeping up the same level of quality going forward and if they are able to offer this at that price point i think it's going to be very close between the top few houses in terms of their quality of fragrances right so that has been my first impressions and the answer to the question is should you be trying these fragrances the answer is absolutely yes you should definitely try these fragrances and figure out you know how good they are so they have they have a quite a good range of fragrances that they have launched some very new ones which uh, most others don't have so i think you can definitely give it a try especially if you're considering to get an alternate of a good niche house you're watching the perfume experience my name is rodney until another time take care bye now